Hey, so welcome back to our C programming tutorial. This tutorial is only for the beginners, for the students who have subject of C programming. Okay, so the last video we are discuss about do while loop. Now this time we will discuss about the while loop. Okay. So I will delete this one so that it will start from the beginning. Okay, first is what is do while? Uh, uh, what is while loop? So while loop is part of the looping or looping statement. So we have do while, we have while loop, and we have for loop. So now we are focusing on while loop. So now here. The do while uh, so the while loop uh, syntax is this one initialization initialization okay next is while loop this is the condition okay this is the iteration iteration it means the increment and decrement so this is the syntax of do while uh, while loop Pag do while is initialization initialization it means the initialization means this initial initialization this means this is the beginning or this is the initial value of the variable then here is the while then the while loop this is the condition yeah. as you can see this is the iteration okay as you can see same looping but different syntax this one is also looping this one is also looping but different syntax it's depend on you how you will use the this uh, loop okay you can use this do while or you can use the while loop it's depend on the uh, requirements so first uh, we will do this one okay so we'll go back here in the programming side so first I will create a program that this one I will create a program that uh, uh, how many oh uh, for example mm, computation of grade okay how many grades you want to compute sample here is enter grade 1, enter grade 2, enter grade 3. As you can see, for example, this is 3. As you can see, almost the same uh, with the previous uh, example, but this one is computation of grade. So now, we will compute here the total grade. then then the average the average grade okay. we will remove the total grade so we will say average grade then the system will display if uh, then uh, print the output output uh, uh, pass or fail yeah. if greater oh, if 75 pataas if your grade is 75 above you are pass or else if 75 uh, 74 below 
you are paid. Okay, so this is very simple using while loop. So first, first initialization. The initialization is like this. For example, in x is equal to 1. I always start on 1. But actually, the actually the looping is to start with element 0. So for me, I will start this one. Okay, so y loop. Okay, so x less than or equal to. But first, I will print f. How many grades? U, 1, 2, compute. Scan app will say here I will declare num okay scan app percent d then num and percent num okay so while loop x is less than or equal to num Okay, as you can see x is 1. So if you read that one is 1 less than or equal to whatever the input, for example, the input 3. So the answer is true. If it is true, it will come inside the condition. So here we are going to ask the user to input enter grade 1 okay so percent d this is x scan f this will be the percent d then we will put here in grade okay then grade this is the variable now, once the user input the grid, we will get the, first, to get the average, you need to get the total, then I will say average, yeah, like that. Total, I will say total is equal to zero. Okay. Total is equal to total plus grid. Okay. Then, to get the average, average is equal to total divided by the number of the number of uh, the number of uh, how uh, the number of uh, then the, the the count of grades how many grades so. So for example, the put 3, so divide 3. Then, after computing the value, we will display the output. I will put here outside the loop, after computing the data, after entering and computing the data or the number, it will display here the total. So the average is percent %d then uh, so we will try to run this first before you continue to the if statement okay oops there is an error so once there is error you should know how to uh, debug and the exit return exit zero so print f so the print f is wrong is print okay here okay, we'll try again okay how many grades you want to compute for example four uh, okay we will put here the colon here okay we'll try again how do many numbers you want to compute for example four here first grade number one is 90 Okay, so here as you can see x plus plus. You need two 
put the iteration here. Don't forget the iteration so that it will go back here in the while loop. So as you can see, the syntax of while loop is there is iteration or increment or decrement here. So we forgot this one. So try again. How many numbers you want to put? Okay, 90. Oops. Four. Oh, just wait. I will know. Okay. X is equal to one. Okay. Then X. Scan it straight up. I will try to put here ampersand. Don't forget also the ampersand here. Okay. Don't forget also the ampersand in the scan app. 490. Okay. 85. 95. Then 82. Oh. Okay. The average is 88. So, so the average 88 is a pass uh, uh, grade. So, first here, after the average is getting, the average is okay. Then, we will check if average is greater than or equal to 75. Then, if, then else. Okay, if the average is 75, print F. You, you are pass. Else, if it is below 75, print F, you are big. So, I hope you know the, already this uh, conditional statement. This is what we call if statement. Okay. So, we'll try again to run. 3, for example, 98. 75 then 85 okay the average is 86 you are passed so you need to put here in the average you need to put the slash n slash n so that it will be next line not like this so that your you are passed should be here in the next line okay so this is what you call next line Okay, number 4, for example, 90, okay, 75, 85, then 81, okay, your, the average is 82, you are pass. Okay, for example, again, we will try again to run, for example, 4, your grade is 75, here is 73, here is 82, then here is 70. Okay, still you are past 75. We'll try to put this uh, low grade. So 75, 72, 73, then 74. Your average is 73. Then you are failed. So as you can see, we use here the do uh, we use here the while loop okay the while loop and the if statement so combination of while loop combination of looping and conditional statement so i hope you understand this one so i hope you understand the the program how the program reads make sure don't forget that the program will read one by one so it's it will start here int x int num int grade in total these are the declaration then again this one so it will display this one as you can see when you run this one it will only uh, display this one the first one because the program is already here then the blink so you can see there is a blinking here it means this is the one once you put the number here okay for example 2 it will come here because this one you must know how to read this one for example the 
num is 2. As you can see, you put here 2. So, the num here is 2. First, the x is 1. So, x so x is 1, then 1 less than or equal to 2 is true. Once the true, it will come here. So, as you can see, there is 1 uh, asking the grade here. So, enter grade, then the 1 is the x. So, first First loop or first iteration is 1. Once you put here, once you put here 79, it will go here, okay? Then plus 1, so it will become 2. It go back here, so this one will become 2. Once this is true, it will come again. So that's why it asking again the grade. Once you enter, once you enter, it will go go here so it will become 3 it will go back here the, this one is 3 once the condition is false 3 is less than or equal to 2 false once it's false it will go here so that's why it will display the average and the value and then condition it's here you are plus so I hope you understand how the compiler or how the pro, uh, how the computer reads your program so that's why don't confuse if there is error you need to fix it okay don't don't uh, you must know how to read the program or else uh, you will not uh, complete your program because you didn't understand how the compiler reads your program so I hope you understand this one. If you have comment, just uh, please comment below, okay?